Uh, for those that are slowly trickling in, I want to say uh, good evening. I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds and then we're going to go ahead and proceed. Uh, I don't know, depending on how many views I'll get because I'm, as always, heavily censored. Um, for some reason, Mother Zucker or Facebook um, enjoy censoring me. I'm not the only one, but there's a lot of people out there just like me. So we're going we're gonna to give them a run for its money. So for those that are actually interested regarding the masks, uh, what happened uh, this past week in Palm Beach County. I'm going to be covering that and also Broward County. And Broward County and, and Palm Beach County go hand in hand, including Dade County. But I'm going to emphasize solely just on, on Broward County and Palm, and Palm Beach County because they're going to run more uh, a lot similar than Dade County. Um, <clears throat> the, those that are, are fighting child protective services or you care about your children uh, or you know someone, this message is going to be for them. Uh, as, as always, I always document everything I do. And normally when I get done with these live streams, I will put these hyperlinks uh, for the people to see and start connecting the dots. Uh, regarding uh, vaccinations, is also going to cover vaccines. It's basically going to cover everything that has to do with COVID, uh, the COVID-19. And these people are just sick and demonic. And I'm going to let the evidence speak for itself. Also, I'm going to show you and for those fact checkers, I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove to you guys how you guys screw it up. So I'm going to prove to the fact checkers that, uh, that there's, a, there's, a, there's an amazing way the Operation Mockingbird, which is the media, has a tendency of twisting the words, especially when it has to do with the headlines. So it, it's phenomenal. But when you catch these criminals in action, like, like MSNBC, CNN, um, US Today, I mean, it's fascinating. Michael Bloomberg, you know, it's fascinating to bring these, or to call out these criminals for what they are, criminals. Criminals that, that like to uh, fake the narrative or manipulate, fake news at, at its finest. So we're going to bring that out and we're going to use some of their information against them. And then I'm, and then I'm going to show you where some of this information uh, they posted, which is extremely symbolic, especially here in the state of Florida, how they're going to use taxpayers' money to steal children and place them in foster care. But most of all, how they reallocated the money from the homeless to contact tracing. This happened uh, uh, in, uh, in Broward um, under, under Bertha, Bertha Henry. So we're gonna show you who Bertha Henry is. And we're gonna also show you how Bertha Henry is tied in with Debbie Watsonman Schultz. That's right. Uh, so Bertha Henry, uh, she's behind uh, the administrative process, meaning how the money is being allocated, and also behind voter fraud, fraud just like um, uh, Debbie, uh, Debbie, um, Debbie Watsman Schultz. So these criminals work hand in hand, and it also affects Broward, Broward County, and, and a little bit of Dade County, but mostly Broward, Broward and Palm Beach County. And until the American people actually start taking the time to read the information, meaning Take the time to research, or if somebody already does the research, take the time to devour the information and let the evidence speak for itself. Because at the end of the day, I did not, I, you know, I did not write this. We're going to use their words, their words against them. Because remember, the, these criminals, the ones that we elected, the de facto government, these bar members, which are part of the American Bar Association, created these unconstitutional laws and are in bed with Media Matters, which is George Soros. And who did George Soros... Um, uh, give large, uh, large campaign contributions to media matters. That's right. ABC, CNN, MSNBC, all these, all these criminal um, uh, organizations or media are the ones that receive um, large campaign contributions uh, through, uh, through Open Society Foundation, uh, through George Soros, which is a, it's in, in New York. So saying that, I'm, I'm hoping you guys can tag as many people as you can because now we're going now to go ahead and we're going to go now uh, show you the documents because at the end of the day, I always say, let the evidence speak for itself. So I'm going to turn this around because obviously uh, I have to do this. So I'm going to turn this around. And as you can see that I'm turning this around for y'all, we're going to go and we're gonna, and, we, and I'm going to show you some stuff here. So this is right here. This is US Today. This is amazing. So now here comes Fat Check. This is Fat Check. Remember how Fat Check, fat, fat check goes against our, our 45th president and looks out for the interests of Twitter and Facebook and they go after Infowars or David Knight or Ben Swan. Uh, who else do they go? Or Chris Blah or, or Matthew Keenan 
or if not uh, Todd Church, you know, these criminals out here that go after the alternative media, including uh, um, um, uh, Duran, Amelia Duran, I mean, a a Angie Blake, uh, Diane Bl uh, Bloss. I mean, these fact checkers are amazing. So look what these fact checkers say. Fact check. Children will not be put in foster care by the government under legislation. This is fact check. This, now, what's so beautiful about this fact check is when you scroll down, remember, we're going to use their own words against them because this is how we got to play it. Guess what happens here? Oh, my God. Everything that we've been saying in the state of Florida, well, Broward, Dade and Broward County. Look at the, the, the claim a bill would allow the government to send social services into homes and place kids in foster care if there is not enough space for, for a space to quarantine. Well, imagine what just fact check just said. Legislators did not pass a bill, right? That children will be taken away and put in foster care. But now they say here. Oh, my God, if there is not enough space or room and the mom or the dad is sick, single parent, they will remove the child and place the child with social services. I didn't say that. Look at that. Social services. See, that's what fact checkers have forgotten that people can actually read and think for themselves and question fact checkers. So to the fact checkers out there that want to fact check this live stream, you better check yourself and Fact check yourself right there, brother. So anyways, so now this is amazing. So now I brought this up and this is correct. And shortly after Congress introduced another bill in an effort to combat COVID-19. Social media claims that surface that children would be put in foster care if someone in a household test positive for COVID-19 didn't, uh, didn't have enough space to quarantine. But And who is passing this and in, in, in the instrumental of Congress? That's called Debbie Watsonman. Schultz. That's right, folks. Debbie Washington Schultz is behind the contact tracing with other senators or congressmen in, in, in the federal level. So we want to make it crystal clear in the federal level, in the administrative side, in the state level, you got Bertha Henry. So we have to distinguish what's federal and what is state. So now you have it right here with the, with the, with the House Bill Resolution 666. Uh, I apologize for that. It's right there. House Resolution uh, testing, reaching, and contacting everyone. Trace. See? So fact check doesn't have to worry about it because they already, they themselves acknowledged it. So they, what are they going to fact check themselves? <laughs> so now this is done. So now here we go. Well, well, well Laz, well, where are you going? Where are you going with this? Well, now that I'm going with this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn this around just a little bit more. So we're going to go right here. This is, this is right here. The county administrator. This is Bertha Henry. This is Bertha Henry that's also in bed with Debbie Watsonman Schultz. And by the way, isn't this a Debbie Watsonman Schultz with Bertha? Not that I think they're dykes, but aren't they the ones also behind the cover-up of the pedophilia with Epstein Island? Hmm. What about the sheriff that's also in bed with Debbie Watsonman Schultz? That's right. This is the same Debbie Watsonman Schultz that's in bed with the Clintons, Hillary and Bill Clinton, or also known as the Clinton Foundation or the Clinton Global Initiative. Imagine that. And guess who's the administrator? Fat checkers. That's right. Bertha Henry. And what is Bertha Henry behind? COVID-19. To the fat checkers. We're using your own material. So now that I, now we establish this and it's gonna and it comes down, I will put this and who's and who's bringing this up? This is Eric's Cons, uh, um, Consultants Inc. So for those that do not know who Eric's Consultants Inc. Now I strongly advise you to go and start looking these people up or start taking notes, especially the fat checkers. So those fat checkers, it's Eric's E R I C K S. Consultants Inc. I strongly advise you to look into that. Also, who? Right, that's right. Here you go. COVID-19 Bertha. Now, this explains a lot. Because why does this explain? Why this document explains a lot? Because when we were out there protesting in front of Broward County, Florida, while the county commissioners were behind closed doors and allocating homeless money into the contact tracing known as House Bill 6666 in the federal level, well, Bertha was administrating and allocating that money in the state, in, in a county level. 
This is where Bertha comes in. See, the fact checkers won't tell you that. No, will Mother Zuck can tell you that. So I'm leaving this document right here because this document one might go away. And for those that want to see this document, it's called Eric's Consultant. And all you got to do is uh, put Bertha Henry. And you'll see a lot of the stuff, which goes and ties to and connects to what? That's right, the CDC. Contact tracing. And they, and they did not discriminate. Because it doesn't matter if you're black or if you're white or if you're Hispanic, if you're Asian. Because they also included the tribes. See, they were, so, they, were, they were looking out for the best interests of the American people and the Native Americans that we cannot forget about the tribes. We cannot forget about the Native Americans. And how many peep contact traces are going to come into your household? Well, they have it here already estimated. A hundred, about a hundred here adding 130 contact tracers. Look at that. I didn't create that or uh, fabricate or alter this document. It's right there. It's all there for the American people to read. 130, 130 right there. People to contract, uh, contract will be in the, in the multi-million dollar range. Look at that. Million multi-dollar range. How about that? That's your tax dollars. Coming from the federal level, going to the state level, and being administered in the county level. Trust me, Debbie Watsonman Schultz, just like all the treasonous congressmen, congressmen and congresswomen in New York, California, Oregon, Washington, I guarantee you, you, you would have the same thing. New Yorkers, you will also have the same thing. Just like we're here in the state of Florida or in your own county because they're having closed meetings. This is why they don't want the people to go in there because the majority of the people like Antifa or Black Lives Matter takes the wind of this and have their children stolen because of child protective services. Oh, my God. Would they be protesting in front of the county commissioner's office? Would they be going to Debbie Watson Schultz's house? Would they be going to Bertha Henry's house? Or what about Governor DeSantis' house? Or the Attorney General? Think about it, America. If we can educate Antifa and Black Lives Matter regarding how these multi-million dollars being allocated and moved from the homeless into the contact tracing, shouldn't they have a right to know? But look, they also and not just included the, the, the Native Americans, but also the Hispanic community. Right there, you got the Hispanic community. Thank you. Thank you, Eric's Consultant Inc. for bringing this out. And it's a lot of money. And look what this is. Broward gets $300,000 or maybe $350,000. Hope to be able to replace the county funds with federal funds. Look at that. Federal funds. See, I'm not making it up, fat checkers. I'm just bringing you out the truth. Now, if you want to go against it, and tell Bertha that she is lying regarding her statements here. Please, let's have a public debate or let the American people see for themselves. It, it, you know, it, let the media come in and say, you know what? We did not intend to write that. We made a mistake, but let's have it on national TV. I wish the fact checkers would actually go and ask Bertha Henry if that's actually in that document regarding Eric Consultants, Inc. And if Eric Consultants, Inc. is legit. See, so this is what they put out there. But most of the American people, I totally understand, we're busy. We're busy with sports. We're busy with our children. We're busy going out. We're busy drinking. We are we just totally overwhelmed and busy doing things but ignoring these documents. And that's what people like me come in and, you know, we have to devour these documents. Not because we're, because we are, because we're bored or because we enjoy it. Is because it's about empowerment. It's about knowledge. It's about educating our brothers and sisters, including Antifa and Black Lives Matter. Because one way, shape, or form, they will have a family member that will affect them. And I do truly hope that people from Black Lives Matter and Antifa is watching this live stream. Because this is not about, about white or black issue or native issue or Hispanic issue. This is about we the people issue and how this treasonous corrupt government is using, is, is using us to depopulate each, each other while they get rich for, uh, from depopulating each other and stealing our children and your tax dollars. This is where it comes down to, Antifa and Black Lives Matter. And don't take my word for it. And whose guidelines are they going to use? Right? That's right. Anthony Fossey's guidelines. I apologize. 
I apologize for that. Anthony Fossey's guidelines will be used right there. I would refer people to the original CDC guidelines. That's right. That's in bed with who? Deborah Briggs, Anthony Fossey. Anthony Fossey's in bed with who? Melinda and Bill Gates Foundation. How much more do you need? And who was behind funding the Clinton, the Clinton Foundation or the Clinton Global Initiative through earmarks and federal grants? Debbie Watson Schultz. Federal level, ladies and gentlemen, the federal level. Your tax dollars. Now that we got that established, now we have this case investigation workforce, workflow. Here we go. You can go up there and you pull out the PDF file. And when you go to this PDF file, it's amazing. It's amazing what you find here. Look at the structure. Look how they're using. Remember, they're going to use the medical field, which is the AMA, which is the American Medical Association. And who's the American Medical Association in bed with? The NIH, the CDC, the WHO, and the United Nations. So when you see, when you see doctors... Just like, just like what, what they do with the foster care agencies and they go and they use, it's called medical kidnapping or medical tyranny and these defecto courts. They're already using the courts or implementing the courts now. And, we, and that's going to be another live stream regarding the, court, the courts. And I will be bringing back some of these documents in which I'm going to show you and lay out how the courts, the judges and, the, and, the, and members of the American Bar Association are already in bed to traffic children. And what they're going to do, just like Child Protective Services, the contact tracers are going to steal your child and put them with pedophiles in foster care agencies. Don't take my word for it. Please don't. Fat checkers, you know what? Fat check me, please. Uh, because I'm dying for you to fat check me. Once you fat check me, I'm going to bring a lot more documents. And who's behind it? The CDC. It's all their CDC. It's all nice. It's a beautiful document, and it has the outflow. Look at that. Case assigned, and then it goes to the, the patient interviews. Well, who's the patient? The mom and the dad. See that? Mom, so, so there's your social worker right there with their little tag right there, and then mom's right here. Oh, yeah, are you sick? Are you okay? Well, don't worry about it. We're going to take care of your meals and all that. Because we have a billion dollars of federal funding, and we need to place little Johnny with a pedophile. But don't worry about that, because we, you know you ain't got to worry about that while mom is getting it's get you know we got to worry about mom's safety and mom's health first. Because don't worry about the pedophiles. So you see how they have their flow chart already. They already have. This is why they call it a multi-million dollar scheme, scam, fraud. Is what you see. And members of the American Bar Association are in bed. I apologize. It seems like Facebook is already trying to knock me out. Now we go to this PDF file. Oh, look at that. Contact tracing workflow. Look at this from the CDC. See, patient with COVID-19 interview. Patient identified contact. Contact uh, tra trade for assignment. Contact assigned. Contact notified. We got groceries. And then we got the uh, refer to the, to the thing. And then we got little Johnny going to foster care, to a pedophile. That's what's going to happen to little Johnny. But they won't tell you that outright. Right, Bertha? Henry? Right? Debbie Watson Schultz in which Broward County is the leading county in child pedophilia and trafficking? Well, you know, you know what I'm saying, right, Debbie? Because, you know, Hillary Clinton and Epstein needed those children. <laughs> so this is all well documented in here. And then you can continue going over here and you go over here and you, and you continue to other PDF files. I mean, they, they have tons of PDF files. And here they contract CDC rolling approach. So this is all coming down to a house near you. So, it, so when you think they're going to discriminate by race, by gender, by religion, oh, no, because remember, they already included... Well, who, who do they include? Native Americans. We, we can't forget about Native Americans because it's in their contact tracing right here, which that bill states. But we're using fat checks information right there. Now, we're going to go back over here now. And we already covered Bertha. We're going to the guidelines. This is phase one. Look at phase one. So when you want to come and look in phase one in regards to the masks. And tr oh, by the way, before I forget, forced vaccinations it's on its way. Just like ma the, the, the mask that happened in Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach, and Tampa. Oh, it's on its way. 
It's on its way. It's documented. Fourth vaccination it will be here before November. Remember that I said that. Before November, forced vaccination is coming to a house near you. And it's called forced vaccination. But don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, come, we'll get to that. So this is your plan, your phase one. You know, this is all about phase one and how they're going to restrict travel, how the social gathering, ten, no more than 10 people, all that. How the CDC and the contact tracers will go after people that are not separated more than six feet. This is what it says. And not to exceed no more than 10 people. This is the parties right here. This is all about the contact tracing. That's why they're hiring 130 people just for, the, just for Broward. Remember, we're just only covering Broward County. So this is right there. Now, what's so beautiful about that? Oh, Laz, well, what did you just find? Oh, my God. Is this a legislative bill? Absolutely. And I don't want you to take my word for one bit because this already has already been downloaded, stored, saved in a PDF file. And I'm just bringing this up so y'all can see it, it, it right here. There's a hyperlink. And where did you get this, Laz? What's called the Florida Senate 2020. Well, what do you mean by Florida Senate 2020? That's right. Under Florida Senate 2020, which is a committee amendment, bill number SB 1324, which is SB stands for Senate bill. Legislative action. And what's this about? This is about removing little Johnny. Remember, this is why they created the Family Adoption Act under Bill Clinton. It's to steal children. Well, they just did several amendments to this to this, uh, the to the basically the federal level, which is the Child and Family and Adoption Act of Title Four. Well, they went ahead and amended it with Florida Senate Twenty Twenty Bill Number Bill Number Senate Bill One Three Two Four. They did that, and it's called the Legislative Action right there. And you see right there, you got the Senate, and you also got the House, and they drafted this beautiful bill. You know, it's a hundred. It's about fifty pages of how they're going to take little Johnny and how they're going to convince you that you know you are going to go to a county judge or also an, an administrative judge. See that it says county judge. You don't have to take my word for it. Now I'm going to ask the American people one 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 question: Where in the Constitution does it say administrative? Just asking. Where in the Constitution do you see the word administrative? Matter of fact, I'll even do this. Where within the Declaration of Independence does it say administrative? If the Declaration of Independence and the, and the Constitution doesn't work for you, well, what about the Bill of Rights? Show me in the Bill of Rights where it so says that a judge has to be administrative. And for those that do not understand or comprehend the word administrative, I strongly recommend for you to go into the Black Law Dictionary and read their own laws, their own words, the words that the American Bar Association, their members defined what an administrative is, what administrative procedure is. And once you understand the word administrative, I'm going to ask you one simple question. Is it constitutional or unconstitutional? Are you able to bring your constitution in these de facto courts or are you not able to bring these, uh, your, your constitution the only way we're going to know is when we participate. And who's leading the action right here? That's right. The Department of Health. The HHS. The Department of Health and Social Services. This is in Broward County. This is state level now, but it applies to all Broward County. This is what they were doing behind closed doors. But they don't want to tell you that. Oh, no. Bertha? Henry Bertha will not tell you that. Nor will the commissioners tell you that. Nor would the mayor tell you that. Oh, no, because you know what? Little Johnny and mom are really, and, and dad are incompetent. They're incompetent and they won't take the time to read 50 pages on how they're going to steal their child. Because they'd rather party. They'd rather stay and exercise their Second Amendment and protect their gun rights. While they shove all these unconstitutional laws down their throats. So they're looking out for the best interests of little Johnny. So if they're not looking out for the best interest of little Johnny, look at that. Little, even little Johnny got a therapist. Look at that. They have a therapist. See how they broke it down? Remember when I showed you the medical field? Oh, yeah, and it's all being operated administrative. See that? Look at this. Look at this. The state court administrator. Administrator. So 
Again, go to the Constitution and you see the word administrator. Go to the Declaration of Independence and see if you see the word administrator. Go into the Bill of Rights and see if you see the word administrator. And if those words, if the if administrator is not there, what do you think? Why do you think they create and they fund their own courtrooms? Are you really honestly thinking they're looking out for your best interest? And if not, don't worry about it. They have a mental health program for you. And for little Johnny right there. See, so when you go through this bill, I don't want you to take my word for it. Fat checkers, please, 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 please. I beg of you to go ahead and contradict me on this document because I am dying for a, for a debate with one of you guys and I'm going to, and I'm going to poke you because at the end of the day, you just basically did what contradicted yourself right here. Fact checkers. You definitely contradicted yourself right there, but don't worry about it. You might be right. The American people won't be that smart enough to read the bill, but that's okay. So we go right here. So we'll continue on. So this is 50. So, you know, remember the best interest. So look, Child team protection. You think they're there for there? No, because it's a multi-million dollar program. Do you understand why they need to have these tests? Test positive or, or you, to test positive? is because it's a billion dollar medical tyranny on your asses. And who are they going to get help from? Law enforcement. Why? Why do you think they're militarized? Why do you think the police department is so heavily militarized? If you do not get it and the documents telling you what their plans are or their contingencies, well, then we'll never get it. And, you know, they did not discriminate because, remember, they, they, they did the local, state, and federal. And they're all going to go now and do a criminal background check on mom and dad. So they can take little Johnny's, they can take away little Johnny. And look at that right here, criminal, a, 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 a criminal background check right there. Criminal background check. But don't worry about it. Mom and dad are going to get a nice, amazing background check, and then they're going to place a child with pedophiles. <laughs> and, and if for those that do not believe that the Social Security and the birth certificate are not numbers in Wall Street, where, they, where, 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 where it goes to Wall Street for, for your bond or your note, or your instrument, right here, date of birth and social security number. Because remember, they got to trace those federal funding, the federal dollars, those Title IV funding dollars. You see what I mean? They don't care. This is coming federal, state, and local. And that's the whole purpose of this live stream, is to educate my brothers and sisters, including people from Antifa and the, B and the BLM, Black Lives Matter, or Babies Live Matter. Because at the end of the day, this is about stealing our babies. Of course we should be worrying about this. That's why it should be BLM. Babies, live, matter. And they should matter for the sake of humanity and for the future of the republic. So here we go. So this is, this is, this is massive. I mean, this document is massive. When I started reading it, I just couldn't believe it. I, I was just like, how do I begin? And by the way, look at the word bond. Well, while you guys think bond relationship, I strongly advise you... Go back to the Black Law Dictionary and understand the word or the meaning of bond. B-O-N-D. You'll understand. It's all about money. They don't care about you. They don't care about the tax dollars or the taxpayers because it's all free money for them because this is what keeps them employed because they have, they're crafting unconstitutional laws so they can steal from you, your child, your water, your land, your minerals, your car, your bank account. All this are they creating under administratives, all administrative and your 401k, all through Administrative Procedures Act. And I, I'm not, you know, I came over here and I, and I, lost, and I lost the page where I wanted to go, but there was, I, I was just dumbfounded. So look at that, review of younger child and 18 years of age right here. You can go there and actually it's step uh, number two, withstanding paragraph one. So it's all there. It's all, I mean, you guys can go. Once I'm done, uh, here you go, caregiver. That's in a legal custody. Now they, they, uh, they, they change it from legal custodian to caregiver. And look, they kept the foster care parent, fa foster parent and caregiver right there. See, you don't have, I don't want you no one to take my word for it. 
I just want you guys to see what's really happening behind closed doors. And when these criminals from the legislation and, and the criminals in the county level are crafting unconstitutional laws to steal little Johnny, well, we have a serious problem here. America, you better start waking up. Broward County, you better start waking up. Dade County, you better start waking up just like Palm Beach County. These criminals know what they're doing behind closed doors. What we saw the day before yesterday pertaining to the masks is just a stepping stone. It's just a stepping stone because vaccines are coming. And it's just going to more figure out how they're going to impose more medical tyranny, violating your constitutional rights. And here you go for six months, all right here. Foster care, parental, uh, parenting skills, adoption from foster care. It's all there. It's all well laid out, beautifully laid out, all well written and crafted. And, and you know, their legalese language. I call it the legalese language because, you know, it, it's their language. Remember, they only know the law. Legalese, not common law, legalese. So we want to make that distinction extremely clear. There's a difference between common law and legalese. And what you're seeing right here, it's legalese. It's not, it's not constitutional law. It's not. It's all about stealing children. This is all it is because you know what? Bertha, Henry Bertha and Debbie Watson and Schultz need more children for the Clinton Foundation. For all these sick, twisted, demonic pedophiles, including Frank Grista. So I don't want to forget about Frank Grista. This is why they pump a lot of money into these races, especially these treasonous Democrats, these Democrats, because they don't care. And, and if Antifa and Black Lives Matter truly understand what's really happening, they'll have a field day. They will have a field day with these criminals because, I, because you know what? We will stand back and just watch. Watch how they destroy their property, how they go and, 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 and beat up these criminals and, and suits and ties are members of the American Bar Association, the, the, the corrupt lobby, lobbyists. Oh, and by the way, I saw something beautiful in Palm Beach County. In Palm Beach County, when you put your name in there, it has in the, in the bottom, it has lobbyists. You know why they have lobbyists? Because that would show your treasonous councilman and mayor on what to vote on. Because that's where they get their campaign contributions. That's called money laundering. Not, or money laundering, you call it extortion. You can call it racketeering. But when you get those cards, you see all the way in the bottom, you'll see the word lobbyist or lobby. And they'll put, the, and they'll put their, lo their lobby name or the employer or the, or the corporation's name. And they'll understand on how to vote. How to vote for that bill. Because it's all about campaign contributions. It's all about back end deals. And these criminals from Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach are all in bed. They're all in bed. But it's so noticeable when I went down to Palm Beach County that I totally forgot to get one of those white cards. But when I do go back, I'm going to get one of those beautiful white cards. And I'm going to do a beautiful live stream. And I'm going to show these criminals how they participate. Because it's all about lobbyists controlling the American people. See, they sold out. They don't represent you because they sold out. See, this bill, just like this, like this, like this bill, they sold out. Because I guarantee you, 9 out of 10 that, went be, that, that behind this drafting of this bill have financial money, meaning shares and stocks, in these foster care agencies. Just like in the state of Washington. And I proved it in the state of Washington. And I had a list of every lobbyist and every foster care agency that made back-end deals. And this is my home state. And I'm about to do that. And I'm going to show you the money. Because the power of the money speaks louder than words. And you will have that. And look at that. This is your cow, you know? Care of your child. Who's going to take care of your child? That's right, a pedophile. A pedophile associated with Debbie Watson Schultz and, 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 Ber and Bertha Henry. But don't take my word for it, Broward. Sit back and watch. Sit back and watch. Don't forget about what happened with Epstein Island because y'all allowed it. So this is, see all this right here? All this is being deleted and new stuff is being added. All this, so some of this is being deleted and new stuff is being added. So all this, see, they see lines are all Muslim deletions and then new stuff. And then look what this says. A, the, the define what a caregiver is. A caregiver means a person with whom the child is placed in out of home care. Out of home care. Remember, fat check says they ain't going to take the child. 
But what do they mean by out of home care? Or a designated official for a group care facility licensed. But wait a second, lads. Fat check just stated that they're not going to take the child from the parents. But look at this. A facility licensed by the department under Senate Bill. Senate Bill 409.175. But damn it, fact check. I thought you said that they're not taking the child away. Explain that to me. That's the meaning. That's the meaning for what? Caregiver. Caregiver. That's the word that replaced legal custodian. Caregiver. See, to the fat checkers out there, fat check that. Because at the end of the day, this has already been downloaded. And you know what's going to be happy? That's already circulating. So don't worry about it. I'm not the only one that has this document. <laughs> so, so they said, know how to say, but look at this caregiver. Each caregiver shall, look, shall, shall use the, reason, the reasonable and prudent parent standards. Prudent parent standards in determining whether to give permission for a child living in, in out of home care to participate in extracurriculum enrichment or social activities when using the re- reasonable and prudent parent standards that caregiver must consider <laughs> but they said that they're not taking a child from mom and dad little johnny is going to be placed so, well i don't know where they thought little johnny was going to be placed but you know what? At the end of the day, it has to be licensed, right? Isn't that what they said? Here they said it has to be licensed. That's right. It has to be a licensed facility right there. A licensed facility. How about them apples? How about them apples? I don't want you guys to take my word for it. I'm just showing you what they're doing behind closed doors. So I'm, I'm already kind of done with this because at the end of the day, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put it out there. But for those that, that, that want to go, I'm going I'm to bring this back up. And I'm going to show you where you can get this document, where you guys can download this document. And if you could believe that the t- contact tracers are not involved in this document and we'll be removing little Johnny, oh, <laughs> wait and see. Wait and see because Fact Checkers is actually going to tell you the truth right here. Florida Senate 2020, bill, bill number, Senate Bill 1324. One, and by the way, if you don't believe me, you want to go back over here. What, uh, what is it, Bertha? What, what was it? Uh, let me go back over here. Where's Bertha? Oh, that's right, Bertha right here. The county administrator, that's right, the Bertha that's allocating the how much? Here we go. She says, we'll be in a range, multi-million dollar range. That's right, multi-million dollar range. I didn't write that. And like I said, the Hispanic community, you're not being discriminated because you're joining the white community, the native community, and the black community. So don't feel left out. Because I guarantee you, they all got it all well planned out. And by the way, here you go. The sheriff, Tony, the sheriff, right here, the sheriff. Who are they going to use? The sheriff. That's right. You don't have to take my word for it. They're going to use the sheriff. Oh, but, but, but don't believe me because fact checkers might be right. And I might be wrong. But don't believe me. You know, see? Three law, enfor- law enforcement options. Mr. Myers, all three. Look, law enforcement Myers, look, right there. All litigations and all that. But don't take my word for it in establishing guidelines and all that. Oh, no. Oh, no. You don't think these people did not plan this out well uh, thoroughly? Oh, man, they planned it out. I mean, amazing. When you read this document, and you, once you read the document, and you read this document, and you read this document, and you go back to this document, and then you go back to this document, and then you go back. Well, no, hold on. Uh, I apologize. I, I might have taken one of the documents out. Uh, yeah, this document, you'll understand how it ties to this document. Oh, yeah. Well planned out. Beautiful planned out. Methodical. I mean, this is a genius. This is a, I mean, you can't, you can't call this any better than this. I mean, they're all complicit. And when you want to say that, that, that Republicans and Democrats are not working together, I strongly recommend to fact check yourself. I strongly recommend to start looking closely. Who your, who your representatives are. And what I would do, what would Lazaro or SNR do? We'll do one of two things. Either we'll recall every single bastard or we'll, go, or we'll go arrest them through common law. Or if not, we'll vote them out. Every single one of them has to be replaced. Every single one of them has to be 
replaced. Every corrupt politician, Republican and Democrat, Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach County have to be removed. If you do not believe that they do not do, are not have do not are not to remove them, watch it in mid October no, before November, the fourth vaccination is coming down the pipe. And if that does not get your undivided attention, then wait until the United Nations starts coming and knocking on your door with the sheriffs, because it's all well planned out. But by all means, by all means, keep listening to Fat Check. Don't, don't worry about these documents because these documents don't mean anything. And then what do we have here? So now we're going to go down here and we're going to use somebody else's word. And we're going to see for those there in Broward County, someone in Broward County guarantees knows this woman right here. This is a woman that covers up pedophilia. This is a woman that's behind in allocating money to child protective services, putting your children with pedophiles. This is a woman that's in bed with the Clinton Foundation. This is a woman that's also in bed with Debbie Watson and Schultz. So don't take my word for it. You want to hear her? This is her own words. Now we're going to use her own words. And for those that worry about this coming down, if you want to, you can record this, the whole live stream while I'm playing this. If you have a camera, if you have a video, you want to record this because they will take this down as soon as it's being played. This is, I'm going to let, I'm going to let the words speak for itself. She has what the state has uh, proffered, and they have uh, they've given us a lot of resources, but but we're still two million people, so we're going to step it up even more because of our concern about not backslap. Uh oh, uh oh, we're going to go back again. So uh, tracing um, is uh, something that would have to be under the uh, guidance of the health department is sensitive public health information and, and the like. Um, so they would um, coordinate it under a public health initiative. Um, I'm expecting um, a proposal from Dr. Thatchy. It may be in my office now, but sometime this week that would um, uh, substantially increase not only the tracing but more testing and um, case management and isolation for you know when we have to go into some of these ALFs and move um, people out or go into family homes like in some of these when we're going in wait a second going into family homes isn't that the word of the WHO the, the director of the World Health Organization that says now they're going to have to go into the homes? The homes. She just said it. The homes. They're going to go into the homes. And fact checkers are fact checking us. <laughs> That's the own word. That's Bertha Henry's own words. They're going to go into their people's homes. And for those that do not believe me, after this last time, I'm going to be going to use the WHO's own words, the director's own words. They're going to forcibly go into people's homes in Broward County. She just said it. I don't know what else you guys need to hear. Her own words in a, in a, in a government setting behind closed doors. This is why, again, they prevented the, the people from open South Florida to go into these hearings. This is why they have closed, cl closed doors hearings. This is why they're allocating homeless money into the contact tracing. This is why Terrence, a, a black man, was arrested from going in there and speaking his mind because he wanted to know why is that money, where is that money, and why is that money, homeless money, being allocated for contact tracing. Do you think this criminal black lady really cared about a black man by the name of Terrence that tried to go in inside to ask what's happening with the homeless money and why that homeless money is being allocated to the contact tracing or the contact tracers? Because it's a multi-million dollar investment. Profit for the corporations in which she represents. And when she Gets, get, uh, gets campaign contributions, including all the criminals around her. 
That's right. So I'm going to backtrack it just a little bit so you can hear that she did. They're going to go back to the house, into the houses. Some of these, when we're going into to some of these homes and we have to separate an individual um, to isolate them, they need, you know, we need to make sure that they get care, that they, they have food. That... Well, I apologize. So that went dead. So at the, at the end of the day, I apologize. There's a lot more. I just gave you a snip of more that that's going to come. Uh, now, that, now that you've seen it, I'll guarantee you one thing. If this does not wake you up and you do not stand up and get involved, your county is doomed. Dade, Broward, Palm Beach. It's over. To Native Americans... To my Hispanic community, to my black community, to my Asian community, and, and, and the white community all need to come together because this is a, a people problem. They don't care. This is a people problem. I showed you the documents and there's a lot more I got to show you. And if you don't think this is happening in other states, well... I already showed what was going to already happen in Oregon. Oregon's already laid out the foundation with New York, California, and Washington. It's already been played. They already played their cards. Florida, I'm happy I'm home. And I'm happy that what I'm finding, it's mind-blowing. And this is what researchers do. This is why I'm able to have a dialogue with anyone at any time and able to ask certain questions. Not because I enjoy it, but because the American people, our brothers and sisters, deserve the truth and need to be well informed. And these documents, I'm going to post them for y'all. And I hope those people in Broward County start reading them. Because Palm Beach and Dade, we're not far behind. We're next. And if you don't think we're not next, well, good luck. Because we got a Cuban communist mayor by the name of Carlos Jimenez. And you don't think this treasonous bastard? He's a Cuban, but he's a communist Cuban. Is that going to do the same thing? <laughs> oh, man. Then you have a rude awakening. And let me tell you this much to the American people and to the people of Florida. Radio Mambi, Caracol, Univision. And there's one more radio station that had been lying to the Hispanic community, had been lying and manipulating about Donald J. Trump and manipulating about the contact tracing and about the mask and about the, and the vaccinations, brainwashing the Cuban community in Hialeah on what's, on what's really going on, basically twisting it. That's a fact check. That's what they're doing. That's what those radio organizations, again, again Caracol, Radio Mambi, Televisión, I believe Univision, or Telemundo. There's the other one, Telemundo. Are lying to the Cuban community in Hialeah, Florida. They're lying to them. And they're brainwashing them. And for those that do know, people in Florida or in Hialeah that are bilingual share this live stream. Share this live stream to them so they can share it to their family. Because Radio Mambi, Univision, Caracol, and Univision are lying to the Hispanic community, brainwashing them with false propaganda. And I'm going to find Carlos Jimenez. One of the reasons I'm still here in Dade County. Because when I find them, we're going to have a lovely live stream. And I'm going to call him a Cuban communist. But I'm going to do it in front of all my Cuban people. And I'm going to bring documents so my Cuban people can understand and see what he's doing. And you know what bothers me the most? That, that DeSantis, Ronald, the governor, Ronald DeSantis, believes him. Not that he believes him. He hangs out with him like Carlos Jimenez is actually his buddy. Either Governor DeSantis, Arnold, Arnold DeSantis is really, truly incompetent or truly, truly ignorant 
Or maybe she's just too kind. But it's going to be one of the three. And it's going to happen under his watch. Because he's aiding and abetting in his treasonous bills. Unconstitutional bills. When he was here, why didn't he talk about that Senate bill? Why didn't he educate the people in the media, not just in Doral, but in Miami? In my, in Miami? Why didn't he do that? Why doesn't he go on, on national TV and tell them how they're going to use contact tracing to steal little Johnny from the house and put little Johnny with a caregiver, not a foster care, a caregiver? <laughs> like, there's a difference. And if you don't, and for those diehard Republicans, if you do not wake up, if you do not wake up, then we're just as fault as anybody else, just like the Democrats. And don't blame the Democrats because they're both in bed. Republicans and Democrats are both in bed. They approve these bills. And treasonous Governor DeSantis is a Republican. And trust me, the Republicans are in it. All you got to do is put that bill. Look who sponsored it. Look who got campaign contribution from that bill. And who voted in favor of that bill. You'll be like, that didn't happen with my legislator. Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, yeah, it did. Not with my city councilman or councilwoman. Oh, yeah, it did. Not with my mayor. Oh, yeah, it did. Not with my governor. Oh, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It's a damn shame. We're being played. We're being played like pawns. We're fools. Because as long as we continue government employees employed through our tax dollars, they can care less about us because their money still comes in. Do you honestly think they, 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 some of them lost their, their jobs? Do you honestly think they did not start getting paid? No, they kept working. They get getting paid. Your tax dollars paid them. Even some of them, like lawyers and, 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 and bar attorneys, they got paid. Oh, yeah, they got paid. But they won't tell you that. But they got paid. And if they didn't get paid, well, I like to see it. Open. Let's, ha let's have an audit. Let's have an audit. Let's see who got paid and who did not get paid. Let's have a transparent audit. Give me all the documents. From, the, from each date. I want to see who put in the billing cycle. I want to see how you guys break it down per day. Because I guarantee you I'm not stupid. <laughs> oh, so at the end of the day, Carlos Jimenez is just another treasonous Cuban, socialist, communist, Marxist bastard. And he's going out scaring the Hispanic community. Mostly the Cuban community. That's what he's doing in Spanish using all four radio stations on a daily basis. Bang, bang, bang. Every other hour, bang. Just like Cuba. Just like Fidel going on TV. Killing him. Boom, boom, boom. We got to keep them stupid. We got to keep them dumb. We need those tax dollars. So how do we do it? We just fucking scare them. Because with fear, we control them. See, it's a psychological warfare. And the problem is that we're losing bad. And until we start mobilizing and until Antifa and Black Lives Matter start waking up and knowing who the real criminals are and who wants to destroy the republic and who wants to steal their children and who wants to steal their minerals and who wants to steal their money and who wants to tax their dollars, trust me, there's going to be one hell of a rude awakening. And by the way, there's a bill. There's a bill which... Uh, I'm glad I'm I'm glad for uh for Arthur Johnson in which if there is a riot hypothetically a riot and and you have two parties going against each other they have the right to use lethal weapon not just the right to use lethal weapon but if you if 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 you die or you get injured your treasonous legislators pass a bill where they have immunity so when you look at your police department and start asking, why are they so heavily militarized? What do you think happens when they're going to start knocking in your doors? Because a little Johnny 
oh, you tested positive because CDC's tests are false positive. But shh, America, you're not supposed to know that. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to know that. Shh. We can't tell you that. We can't tell you because you know what? We want to keep you dumb and oppressed. Because we want our corporations to continue collecting. And we want that back end money so we can continue to be elected. So continue with the division. Let's continue. Black Lives Matter and Antifa, continue with the division. Continue on. Because there's a rude awakening coming. And, what, and, 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 once, and once this snaps, there's going to be a lot of people from all sides going to be held accountable. And it's going to be a scary day. Because I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to watch when, no, when, when, when they come after those white babies and those black babies and those Hispanic babies and those native babies and those Asian babies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell's going to break loose. Because now we're going to wonder if their neighbor is going to stand up. Or is the neighbor paid, paid for by the government? This is Cuba 101 at its finest. Communism at its finest. Should now we go ahead and wave the flag upside down and call it the USS America? I don't know. I don't know what to say. Because at the end of the day, I just want to see what child, when the when children start being removed, like they're doing in Washington and Oregon and California, and they're using them for, for, pedoph for, for pedophilia, let's see what happens. I always say, let's see how funny it is when, when, once it starts happening. Because then we definitely can have a, you know what, I'll just, I'll just crack a beer and lay back and just start drinking. And I'll enjoy the show. Because that's what's going to be a show. And no one's going to win. But it's going to be one hell of a show. So to those out there, I just want to say thank you. God, God, bless, God bless our military. God bless our republic. God bless our country. And uh, as soon as I'm able to bring this, all this back up, I'll be bringing the information out there. But you guys seen it for yourself. Uh, it's up to you what you want to do with the documents. So God bless. Thank you.